Hey guys, how you doing? It's Emlyn from Emlyn in the Mix. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a beat in iMachine 2 for the iPad and then transfer that over to your choice of door. Um, today we're going to be using Ableton Live and uh, yeah, just going to show you how simple it is to just create a beat on here. It's a freaking awesome little app. Alright, let's go straight over to the screen and check out how easy it is on the iMachine 2 app to create a beat. Here we go. Alright guys, so let's get stuck straight into it. I'm just going to make a really quick beat here and then we're going to transfer it over to the Machine Studio. Here we go. So we're recording. Alright. Now, iMachine actually recognizes um, the length of the loop and it's actually put that in place. So there we go, we've recorded that. Now, I'm not very happy with my timing here, so I'm just gonna fix that up really quick. All right, and then let's record it again, here we go. So I'm just coming up with a little lead, a little arpeggiator action, and um, yeah, I'm just coming together really nicely. So I'll just give it a name, um, we'll just call it Emlyn's Beat for now. So that's basically it, that's my beat. Uh, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to export it out of the iPad. I'm going to pop it straight into my door here and we're going to have it all in Machine Studio right now. So let's do it. So first off we want to go to Menu, 
And then we want to go to export for machine. So easy, right? Export Emlyn's beat. We can see it here. Click OK. And boom. Like that. That's going up right now. Now ask me where I want to put it. Uh, I'm going to put it in my Dropbox. Copy to Dropbox. Not entirely sure where exactly it's going to put it for me, but should be able to work it out. Save to Dropbox. Oh, it's just putting it in my main folder. Okay, cool. Let's leave that to upload, and as soon as that's done, we'll go straight to the screen here and check it out. All right, so I've got Machine Studio 2.0 uh, loaded here on one of my MIDI tracks in Ableton Live 10. So literally all I do is I go File, I go to Open, like this, and then we go, I want to search for Emlyn's Beat there, and Emlyn's Beat.imxpj, or whatever the file is, um, that can read it in here. I just press open and that should suck in all the samples and everything else as well. Have a listen to this, this is straight from the iPad. It's really nice being able to have that option of being able to just jump straight in from the iPad version. Now I can see it here and I've got all my sounds. All from the, what was on iMachine 2 is now in my Machine Studio 2.0. Very nice indeed. I really like this export function. So simple, so easy. And now I can feel inspired to continue creating straight off my computer here on the desktop. So you can go from playing it on your iPad, you could be out, you could be on an airplane, you could be at a gig, and you could just come up with a quick little beat on here, and then you can transfer it straight over to Machine Studio on your desktop. It's super simple and super easy. Uh, love Native Instruments for this creativity and ease of use to actually simply be able to move your beats around. Alright guys, well thank you so much for joining me on the Emlyn Mix. I hope that was pretty easy to follow. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be plenty more awesome products, especially this year in 2019. We've got so much to look forward to in the audio technology community. Um, I'll be covering as much as humanly possible. I know there's a lot to cover. Um, but be sure if there's something you want to hear about, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure that I get it for you in the next video. Alright guys, till next time, this is Emlyn in the Mix. Peace out.